Islam. This is Dr. Rael Bay coming to you on behalf of the Moorish American government and this week's edition of Question on the Floor. This week's Question on the Floor comes from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We have Kay asking out of Tulsa, Oklahoma this morning. What is your question, Kay? I want to ask the Moors about the three-fifth clause. How does one define the value and self-worth of the two-fifth noble Drew Ali brought to us in the West? Thank you. To answer that question, we go to our Grand National Secretary of State, Dr. Hesepshut Tutankhamen Bay. Islam. I want to give you honor more for the master words for study. And um, as far as the value and self worth of the two fifths that Noble Durali brought to us, I, I am so grateful and humble to uh, have a Moorish American government to recognize the fact that uh, Allah sent to us a prophet that was divinely prepared. And prior to the advent of Prophet Noble Durali, I was walking around here with a black mindset, thinking that that's what I was supposed to be, not recognizing the fact that uh, my people had gone through 500 years of slavery, misnomers, colorable laws, you know, and still are classed as three-fifths of all other persons. So recognizing the fact that every other nation uh, recognizes their own nationality and the creed of their forefathers, which the prophet termed as our vine and fig tree. You know, that is life to a Moorish American national. That is freedom to a Moorish American national. That is autonomy, self-government, uh, self-determination. So um, when, we, when we breathe that holy breath, that is our divine connection and our divine hookup with our Creator, our Father God Allah, and being able to uh, recognize and honor and fall in line and obey the um, the holy laws and the divine instructions of Prophet Noble Durali is indeed a privilege in this era of time, because at the end of the day, the Prophet gives us our divine instructions as uh, teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed. So it had to have had great value and great worth in order for nations to have uh, conspired against people of hue to strip them of their uh, position as being founders of civilization, to strip them of their history, uh, you know, their culture and everything to keep uh, our people under the foot of um, the slave master. And it wasn't just enough to okay, you're a slave now, um, you know, but you still recognize who you are. No, they stripped the very memory, <laughs> in essence, that we were people, stripped the very memory of our whole Moorish culture or, or tried to because you cannot bury and you cannot uh, extinguish the truth. So recognizing the fact that we have um, the five highest principles known to man and that this is us ourselves, is indeed a great blessing, and it is a eye opener. It's uh, it's an unfolding into consciousness, and it's just a reminder as above, so below. So much gratitude, more for this very powerful message this evening, and uh, much peace and love to all of my Moorish kin. Well, that does it for this edition of Question on the Floor, and I'm your host, Ryel Bay of the Moorish American government. Islam in peace.